Good day and welcome to the AIID E tournament for StarCraft Brood War. Of course, it's the artificial intelligent and interactive digital entertainment tournament, and that is part of the larger conference on the same topic. Today, we'll be showing you the latest in Brood War AIs, or robots, or bots as they are called, and they play the most beautiful game in the world called StarCraft Brood War. As the first game, we have, um, well, one or two of the best bots out there and it's a triple ck bot by chris coax and at the other end of the map as the blue terran we have got iron bot and he uh, that's being coded by Igor dimitrievich from france so without further ado this is the game and um, if you do not know anything about starcraft let me tell you a little bit about that we have got a, um, well, basically mine resources, build units and defeat the enemy kind of stuff. This replay viewer has no fog of war, but normally these units can only see about up until here and the entire map is not explored. So this is one of the big challenges for AI to beat a game of a real-time strategy. We saw earlier that the human mind was no match in chess and go and now the last big milestone for AI to beat human is a real-time strategy. As you can see, this map, compared to a chessboard, is huge. There are a lot of different positions. There is high ground and low ground, which confer different benefits. There is passable terrain, like here, a ramp leading from the high up to the low ground, and vice versa. And of course, there is impassable terrain like this, where only flying units can uh, fly over. We um, will be seeing a wide variety of build orders, which means uh, which units and buildings are built in a particular order, to gain dominance of the map. So, uh, the Red Zerg Triple ZK bot used to be a very cheesy bot indeed, which means that it would build only a spawning pool of four drones and then a handful of Zerg cheap attacking units, rush the enemy and try and get away with that. And it was very successful with that, so um, I'm pleased to see that today it will be doing something else. That said, it has not taken another expansion, another base with more resources, so I think it's going to be some kind of an all-in build where it will only build a couple of workers on one base, limited technology and try to surprise the enemy. The Blue Terran Iron Bot has been one of the dominant Terran for a long time, was the dominant Terran Bot for, or the dominant AI for half a year almost, and in StarCraft AI that's a really long time. Its uh, features include relentless harassment with, um, no not the cheapest unit, but a relatively cheap unit from this building, a factory, and that's called the Vulture, so we'll see that perhaps as well. Now Triple ZK bot going for a handful of Hydralisks. Hydralisks are a, um, a basic unit. They can attack both ground and air and with the proper upgrades built from the Hydra Den, which we'll show you here. They will have Hydra attack range, which means they will be able to spit a little bit further. And they are going to move out on the map trying to deal with this scouting SCV. That's a worker used for a scout. And now they ignore it and they make their way over to the enemy. And the enemy has its first unit out too. And you cannot see it, but um, in this OpenBW uh, project browser, we have got some uh, speed controls and I can pause it. I can uh, alter the level of sound and I can also switch back and forth. And well, that's about it. It's very pretty, you can open it in a browser. You need the original game though, so it's uh, if you pirated something, uh, you can't just open this website and have everything. The Hydralisks move up to the enemy base uncontended. And there is a, a bunker, which is a basic defensive structure with uh, Marines, the basic combat unit of Terrans in it. And the bunker will provide additional hit points and extra range to the Marines in there. So for now, I think the bunker with the repair will hold and behind that we see these three factories making more expensive combat units and that probably will be the end of Triple Z K bot because there are units out on the map and this constant uh, attack moving just building a unit right here and moving it over straight to the enemy base doesn't seem to be working 
and now Ironbot has superior forces and can take control of this map. Ironbot, with the um, superior production capacity, is going to um, have a bit of fun with the Zerg, I believe. But the Zerg is upgrading its main production building, the Hatchery, which means that it will have additional technologies at its disposal. Then I think this is going to be another hatchery which it will need to build a larvae. You can't really see them because they are very small, uh, but they are basically bound to this building and they will morph into an egg and an egg can be anything. Can be an overlord, can be a drone, can be a hydralisk, can really be any zerg unit. So the zerg units are all made from larvae which makes the zerg race very flexible. And the Zerg is going for some basic defensive structures to outrange the harassment of these vultures. The big problem though is going to be that the Terran is going to uh, bring more forces to the Zerg base. And eventually that will be a huge problem. And now we see the laying of mines which are at this moment... Ooh, they are burrowed units. Which means they are not visible unless you bring some kind of detection which is a, a cloaked layer in the game. And that also adds to the complexity of StarCraft Brute War because imagine a chessboard where you'd have below all the white and black squares a layer of black and white squares which are hidden. And you, ha you add another level to the map that would be incredibly hard. And so it is for AIs. Of course there is detection for these hidden realms and that's in the form of these overlords. They are some of the, uh, the the overseer units of the Zerg. You can see now that Terran is bringing lots of forces and in the forces overview here at the bottom you can see Triple CK Bot has 14 supply worth of units and that's a basic unit, you can go up to 200. It has got so and so much money, so many workers and the army supply at this moment is zero. That means that it is building some kind of tech but is not building any units so that's a bit of a pity. And that means that Terran can just um, mow it down, so to speak. Ironbot is, well, aggressive, has got the enemy contained. The units cannot leave the base unless they can fly. And at this moment they cannot, or they could kill this neutral building, or these couple of neutral buildings which are stacked upon each other, and then move out. But that requires a lot of work and a lot of fighting power. So for the time being, the Zerg is contained, but now has air units and Terran is, sc is scattering, is trying to get some kind of air defense up. This is a defensive structure which will attack air but is not being completed and although almost all the workers are dead, Zerg now has an air force which is making its way across the map, leaving the Terran forces to ravage its base and as you can see there is no worker left, there is only only one unit. There is one defensive structure. Zerg has no more money. You need about you need exactly 50 to build a worker. So Zerg has got no more nothing and is attacking this bunker. And if the bunker stays alive, I think Zerg will be out of this game. But with all the repairing which these workers are doing, oh, but there is, there is, is there? Yeah, it is firing. There is a combat unit in this. So we've got about four mutalisks left and this bunker is slowly picking away one of them. This unit can also uh, shoot air units and these turrets will make sure that this base is quite safe. Then this mutalisk is well trying to hunt down all the units here which is of no concern because there is only one defensive structure, there are no workers and Ironbot by this time has two mining bases operational and these muters are surely and surely being demolished. And that, as they say, is that. Triple ZK bot taking, and I'm speeding the game up just a little bit, is taking the first loss, I think, in this set of replays which are going to be cast. The last mutalisk attacking the Terran base is dying, which will free up more Terran units to uh, make their way over to the enemy base. And these siege tanks with a huge range and huge fighting power are demolishing the base as we speak. And this is very so slow down. This is very strange because this unit is stronger than a mutalisk. For some reason it's running. But in the long run it can't really only go one way because so many units are entering the Zerg base. This is over. 
and that was, as they say, the game. And I'll let it play out because with bots you never know if someone might not crash. These being the, about the four or five top bots of the tournament, they really rather don't crash, but of course they still can do. And that was the game, so Ironbot takes the first game over Triple ZK Bot.